Okay, happy to see you here. In this video, we're going to solve this interesting exponential equation. 2 to the x plus 4 to the x plus 8 to the x equal to 155. As you can see, all different bases, 2, 4, 8, 125. But what about the solution? What is the best solution to this question? And in this video, I'm going to show you this solution. First of all, we have all different bases. And it will be really, really great for us to create the same base. And we know about this 2, we know that this it can be written as 2, yeah? In, in this way. This this 4 can be written as 2 square, which is really great, and this 8 can be written as 2 cube. Yeah? This is the first and really like important step for us. Because if you write it in this way, we will have the same basis. So, but we still have 2 to the power x right here, so plus 2 square to the power x right here, plus 2 cube to the power x equal to 100, 155. Okay? Okay, so we just write it in another way as 2, 2 square and 2 cube. This is our first step to our solution. Let's go next. We need to know a really important rule in our case. It's called rule of interchange. Maybe in, in not on, in all countries they call this rule of interchange, but I write it, I called it rule of interchange, and a lot of countries know about this rule a to the power x equal to a to the power y raised to the power x. As you can see right here, we just change these powers x and y and y and x right here. Why we can change this? Because we have a product. So this equal to a to the power x times y and in the same way a to the power y times x because of a multiplication. So we can easily learn this rule and apply this rule in our in our solution. Okay? So I hope you understand this step. And right now let's change our powers right here, our powers right here and right here. Okay? Okay, if we change it, we will have like 2 to the x plus 2 to the power 2 to the x squared and plus 2 to the power x cube, yeah? Equal to 155, okay? Okay, so I hope you, you understand this step right here. This is very important step in our solution. Right now, 2 to the power x, 2 to the x, 2 to the x, all same elements, so we can easily write a substitution right here. So let, let, 2 to the power x equal to, for example, let's go with t, then we have like a, I guess, cube equation, yeah, because we have like, instead of 2 to the x, we have t plus t square plus t cube equal to 155, okay? Okay. Let's go next. This is cube equation because we have the third power and let's change an order a little bit and let's bring this 155 from right to left. We have like t cube plus t square plus t and minus 155 equal to equal to zero. Okay? Okay. This is our cube equation. There are a lot of approaches how 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 can uh, everyone solve this uh, solve this question. But I want to show you my my approach. Why uh, how can how can I solve this cube equation right here? On the first side, we can easily see that t equal to 5 will be a solution to this problem because t equal to 5, 125 plus 25 plus 5, it will be 155, minus 155, this is 0. So we can easily say that t equal to 5 is a solution, but let's, fa let's factor it, let's find all solution to this question. And let's write t cube in the beginning. Then let's write this t square as minus, let's write it as minus, minus 5t square plus 60 square, okay? Plus 60 square. So instead of t square, I write this one, minus 5t square plus 60 square. So this is our t square. Instead of t, let's write this expression, minus 30t and plus 31t, okay? This is equal to, uh, this is equal to t, as you, as you can see right here, and is the same minus 155, equal to zero. So I just uh, change a little bit this expression. So I write this t square as, 60 square minus 50 square. And why I write this? Because if we group right now, if we group in a pairs, if we group in a pairs these elements, so we have like t, t cube minus 5t square, okay, minus 5t square. So I just group two elements, yeah, this one and this one, then plus 60 square minus 30t plus 60 square minus 30t, so 6 t square minus 30t, okay, second parenthesis, then 31t minus 155 plus 31t minus 155, okay, okay, equal to, equal to zero, okay, and right now let's factor from here, t, t cube and t and 5t square, what number can we factor from this expression? We can factor from here, of course, t square in parenthesis t minus 5 plus 
6t right here, t minus 5, t minus 5, and plus 31, and in parentheses, t minus 5. Okay, and finally, let's look at it. t minus 5 right here, t minus 5 right here, and t minus 5 right here. Let's factor this expression, because when you factor it, we'll have like t minus 5, and in parentheses, t square plus 6t and plus 31 equal to equal to zero. So we factor this question. A lot of students factor this question in their own method. For example, this is my my approach. I see this solution that t equal to five. Then I I know that five we need to we need to get five in both expressions. Right here we need to get five, and with this 30 we can easily factor this 60. So this is my approach, and I hope you understand it. Or if you don't understand, you can easily pause the video and you will understand everything in this in this method how I solved this cube equation. Okay, so we have this product. So from this product, from this question, t minus five equal to zero. Then t equal to five. This is our first first root. But what about the second one? We have quadratic equation, so t square plus 6t and plus 31 equal to zero. What about solution to this question? How can we find it? Of course, let's start with discriminant. Yeah, if we're talking about discriminant, b square minus 4ac, and we all know about a equal to one right here, b equal to six, and c equal to 31. Okay, okay, equal to. 6 square, we will have like 6 square minus 4 times 1 times 31, and we'll have like 36 minus 124, which is less than 0. So, right here we don't have no, we have no real solution, no real, real solutions. Solutions. But we have like two complex, but we have two complex, complex roots. Okay, it was our, our right hand side, on the left hand side, we have t equal to 5. Okay, what about it? t equal to 5, but 2 to the x, where have we have some substitution, so 2 to the x equal to t, but t equal to t equal to 5. So 2 to the x equal to 5, and of course log, log on both sides, so log 2 to the x equal to log 5. So as a result, this x jump right here, so from here we will have like x times log 2 equal to log 5, okay, log 5. Let's divide both sides by this 2, so we have like our x equal to log 5 over log log 2, and this is our solution according to log properties. This is my solution to this question, of course, if you still have any question, write a question in the comment section, I really appreciate it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.